Please tell them I'm not sick. Oh god, don't tell me. Oh, I gotta go through another one. See, this is seriously redundant. Security scan. I'm getting bored of this damn DLC because of this biometric scan shit. And don't forget that I gotta do this again, coming back the other way once I get Burke's eyes. Motherfucker. Oh, man. Subject recognized. Hey, Alan. Granted. I see you keep going in between the checkpoint areas. The fuck are you doing, Alan? Uh-oh. Did they move new people here? Oh, there's people above us. Oh, shit. Huh. Oh shit. Ha 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 No? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hi. <laughs> you know, I guarantee you when that guy came to work today, he didn't expect that he was going to run around a corner and get shot. <laughs> But hey, whatever. I love how this is a security rating one door. Because I really needed, you know, the code after that. Ooh. Whiskey. And an ebook. And paintings. <gasps> Burke, I didn't see you for an artistic type, but hey, whatever. The uh good Okay, so here we have a new save. Congratulations. Peter, I know my brother already spoke to you personally, but congratulations on your recent promotion. The board was more than happy to recognize your recent accomplishments, especially considering, uh, considering how successful the Hydra program has proven in Australia. You certainly exemplified the kind of unco uncompromising, lateral thinking approach to progress that Belltire prides itself upon. Okay... Oh. Give me a second. There. When you're plugged in, everything is cold, your skin feels tight, your muscles are stiff, and your bones feel like glass. But you're not really aware of this, right? Because the machine is telling you otherwise. It's telling you that you're somewhere else, experiencing something else. But your body knows. It knows something isn't right, and it remembers. Like the real you is still awake, even though you're dreaming. When they turn it off and, you're still, and you start disconnecting, it's like the fake you and the real you crash together. One minute you're warm and alive, then all of a sudden it's like you fell through ice and you're dying. It sucks the air right out of you, like a bomb going off in your head. The brain locks up and boom, a flash. Then nothing, just the darkness. You know those blue screens of death on a computer? Yeah, it's like that, except it's your mind that's crashing. Spooky shit, man. I ain't going back into that thing. Okay, I think these mind crashes deserve some more look into. If we can diminish the likelihood of them occurring or eliminate the possibility together, it would go long. It would go a long way towards retaining volunteers. As it stands, the, co the cost of outfitting non-OCM candidates with Hydratech, in order to simplify the test, the uh, uh, integration of nerve simulators with your Spec Ops training regimen, proving quite prohibitive. Uh huh. And then instant. Burke, I need a favor. The mighty tyrants need something. So it ain't so. Oh, Burke, I need a favor. The mighty tyrants need something. Say it ain't so. This is serious. My team has had some serious or has some setbacks. Setbacks. Casualties. This wouldn't have had to do anything with those five scientists, would it? It's classified, but let's just say one of them has an attachment problem. And that problem has a hero complex. What, like an ex-boyfriend? Something like that. You've got to be kidding. I never kid. So what do you want to do? Or, wait, so, what do you want? Dossiers and some of your best men. Oh, I think they're... Are they talking about me? One of them has an attachment program pro uh, problem, and that problem has a hero complex. Ah! 
Yeah! She's ta he's talking about Reed! And then he's talking about me! Lol. Okay. Geithner, I've got the eye. Wow, it's I have not a lot of practice points. No scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Kitener out. Okay. Guess we're taking it down to Quinn, because obviously Quinn knows what to do with eyes. Why is there a random guy just chilling out here? I'm gonna have to deal with him. Ooh. Cool. And a security hub. Ooh. Awesome. Now where does this go? I have no idea. But let me use some of these Praxis points since I do have five. Um, I don't need. I don't really need to be able to run faster. Uh, more room in my inventory. That sounds nice. Okay. Um, being able to hack all the things would be pretty fucking awesome too. There you go. Now I don't have to worry about hacking. Unfortunately, this means I'm not going to go back and hack all the things we miss. But if there are things in the future, I will probably go and hack the... Is this a dead end? Oh. God, I did it again. <laughs> Just like run into the thing and go, where, 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 where's the exit, bro? Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm running. Someone's running. I ah! saw that. Howdy! Well, at least he re he was able to acknowledge the existence of me running. Someone's running. Yes, that's very true. Ha! Take that, scumbag! Also, there's one person all the way over there. You're blocking the way between me and Megan. Megan! I should do that more often. Just scream out Megan's name every time I kill one person. So then when I meet Megan, I can tell her how many people I've killed in her name. And she can be like, what, Jensen, why would you do that? I'll be like, Megan! And then I shoot Megan. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah, that'd be, a, that, that'd be something. Okay, let's get down this elevator. I hope this guy doesn't think I'm going to grab his fucking rocket launcher shit because I'm not really in the mood to hunt down the rocket launcher parts. Because I can only assume that they're going to be split up into hundreds of different rooms. Or three different rooms, because there's only three components. At the very least, I got one. Hi! So, what's the story? Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. Aye. Without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a gobstopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Wait, what does that even mean? Right. So that's it now. You got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TYM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with it. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? What? One use? Why only one use? Why only one use? Without being hooked up to a proper battery, like your brain, the voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin in a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. So I can only go... It's a one-way trip, basically. Okay, is it supposed to be moving? Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy, that is. <laughs> Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is... I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything's amiss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't just myself. Okay, how did you... This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more to old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. 
This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. We ain't got time for this. Hey, I can hack things. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it. And it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's look at your shop. Buy something or bugger off. Oh, don't worry. I will buy something. Let's get rid of that. There. Got both Praxis kits. And I'm going to grab the silencer. Oh, yeah. No refunds. Shut up. I don't need your refunds. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick a silencer on uh, the pistol. Or I can put it on the shot. Oh, no. I can't put it on the shotgun. Then I'm putting it on the pistol. There. So now if I, if I want to be sneaky with the pistol, I can be. Options, yo. Okay. At the very least, you're getting practice points pretty fast in this compared to like the full game since it did give you like a whole bunch of them at the beginning. But still, it doesn't explain anything like how do I get all my weapons back? Maybe it's at the very end of it. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. With that, let's keep moving on and run over to the biometric scans because those are a shitload of fun to go through. Over and over and over again, right? Yeah. Let's set off the alarm too, because you know what? Why not? Hello. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> Why did I? What the fuck? <laughs> I died here because I was trying to emulate the fucking alarm. <laughs> wow. Not doing that again. Biometric assembled. At least not anytime soon. Jesus. Whew. I wonder if there'll be more enemies in front of this area. It's the only way, it's the only reason I could assume why we're doing all this biometric Subject stuff. So they can just recognized. extend the lifetime of the game, or the Access DLC, by a granted. good 20 minutes or so. Unfortunately for you, developers, I really don't care about any new enemies. I'm gonna kill them regardless. I'm, I'm a big dick for doing so, but whatever. You're monsters! I'm not a monster. I'm a man. Robot. Manro, but no. Ah, Roman, Robo Man. I'm a cyborg, okay? I'm not a monster. Also, I loved how I lived through the fucking thing exploding directly behind me. Lol, that was awesome. Stop screaming! You're just gonna lose your fucking voice, and then what's gonna happen when we, when like? People come to save you, and you're just sitting there going, Wow! I lost my voice! Uh, uh, stupid bitch. Oh, that really hurt my fucking throat. I don't even know how I managed to do that, but. Whew! Biometric data assembled. Again, it doesn't need to be assembled, just scan, go, Oh, you're Alan, and then I can go through. That isn't even like real x-ray data shit. You're basically just putting a light effect and making it go up and down. What the fuck would that accomplish? It's a computer. It doesn't need to scan the fucking picture that it's already got. That's dumb. You so silly person who designed that room. Oh well. Boop. 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 Hi. You changed your mind. You'll let me out now? Ha! No. Please, they'll be back and I'll disappear like all the other women. Bye. I'm sorry. Wow. She didn't fight back that time. Cool. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go into this room. Hopefully there's no, like, boss fight or something in here preventing me from doing anything. Just to be cautious. Okay, cool. Look at all these dead bodies. Uh, uh, uh. Necrophilia, oh yeah! I'm Adam Jensen! Man with a robo dick! 
Yeah. Ooh, combat ammo. You see, if you had a robot dick, you wouldn't really have to have any problems <sighs> dealing with people. Just saying. Ooh, typhoon ammo. Because, you know, I totally have the typhoon. I could get the typhoon later on. Anyways, here you go. Scan the fucking eye. Access granted. One way trip, bros. Let's go. Oh, wait, I can't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to go through the top now. Oh, well. Whoa. Underwater facility. Holy shit. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. Okay. What about the experiments and the people and the stuff? Come on, there's like so much data back there. You can fucking walk there yourself. No one's gonna suspect you because everyone's dead. And grab the info. But hey, whatever. I'll grab the info over here too. I'm a little bit worried about this facility because I have no idea what it constitutes. And there's a lot of moving gears, which is pretty dangerous for my health, but yeah. Oh god. Please. Please don't leave me like this. No hope. Nothing to do but kill me. Beg you. Yeah, and this guy. I got, I'm gonna assume he's unconscious because you wouldn't be sticking a metal fucking spine to a dead guy. Can't take anymore. I want to die. Hey! This looks like that one thing from the end of the game. Oh, I see how they're trying to connect it. I'm sorry. So sorry. Don't hurt me. Shh. Anymore. He'll be okay. Don't mind me. Just gonna hack things while you're in pain. Ooh. So cold. I'm gonna hack it. I'll get all the rewards Access with none of the fucking consequences. Hell yeah. Okay. So cold. Uh, he gave a smiley face. And how many times have I asked you to call me Bob? Bob Page. <laughs> fucking Bob. Mr. Page, the situation at Rifle Bank is somewhat, or is un, uh, un somewhat, I read the line below it, is unacceptable. I fully understand that we are somewhat responsible without Bell, Bell Tower for our continued research in this field, but the means they are using does not justify any successful results we may achieve. In fact, I'm not convinced that their ultimate goal is in keeping with what your organization stands for. Okay, and here's fucking Bob with his super long thing. I understand your concerns, Tiffany. More than you know, the loss of life is tragic, but in the long run, necessary. We have to keep our eyes in the future, and I'm not talking about 15 to 20 years. This project is of the utmost important to the immediate future. Okay. It's funny because I end up shooting this guy in my Deus Ex LP without any fucking real issues happening. Uh, from now, for now, you're right. Absolutely. The numbers we're seeing, the losses are unacceptable. Okay. And then he goes, smiley face. Said she'd be there. Sandra's liable. Gary, I don't think I can do this anymore. So cool. You know what I'm talking about. If I can convince Bob that this is dead end, God, there's a lot of things here. Okay, supplies. Tiffany, I'm about to send a supply requisition to VL for the next series of tests. Burke has already put us on a notice that the ships will be docking as soon as the storm breaks, so things will get busy in here. Also, I'll be leaving the base for a few days, so you'll have to handle the preliminary tests. All right. Ooh. That's a lot of classified sorry. stuff. So sorry. Don't hurt me anymore. Huh. So 
Okay. Let me get, get, no, I want the painkillers. So you can't have them, lol. Okay. Let's sneak up on this chick. Ooh, trauma kit. Cool. Can I use it on her? So cold. Ooh. Cool. What about this one? Oh. That's what the data thingies are for. Okay. Cool. I don't have any other data thingies, so whatever. Hello, Tiffany. Statistical analyses of latest implanted patient uh, test subjects revealed no statistically significant changes in glial tissue buildup and subsequent degeneration. Post humans who are progeny, nanotechnology. Okay. Hi. Quite the house <gasps> of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. I'm Adam Jensen. Obviously, you wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you you don't understand. I'm not Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage. But Burke went back up to the base. And Gary. Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut, and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team, and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant, and by then... By then it was too late. Uh... What's OCM stand for? Yeah, I've been wondering that. They keep spouting that off. What, what is it? OCM. Savage used that term in the morgue. What does it mean? Organic Computational Matrix. It's a means of cross-connecting living brain tissue and artificial intelligence systems to create a supercomputer of unparalleled capability. Part flesh, part silicon. That's what you're doing down here, turning prisoners into computer parts. Human brain activity has to be integrated with the technology, or else it won't work. Even DARPA knew that. DARPA? What does DARPA have to do with this? Nothing. Not directly. In 2007, they started looking for research partners to help develop an artificial cognitive science program that could increase a soldier's situational awareness in the field. A number of private sector companies submitted proposals. Bell Tower being one of them. No. Bell Tower was a private military corporation. DARPA wanted researchers. But one of the companies who did submit something was a biotech corporation that deals with Bell Tower. And they believed a successful program could be designed if it could be wired directly into the soldiers' brains. DARPA wasn't willing to go that far. So this biotech company took the idea to Bell Tower. A corporation that, being privately funded, doesn't have to concern itself with political or ethical debate. Okay. How many? Just how many prisoners are being wired into this thing? I... I don't know. But a lot of them don't seem to survive for more than a year. I've told the others there's no way this project can stay viable with these kinds of numbers. But the OCM computers have to have them to work. Computers? You mean there's more than one of them? There's... several. This is just where the process starts. The factory floor. We select the candidates here, implant them, and ship them to the other locations. It's all very efficient. Yeah, except your candidates keep dying. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the problem. Okay, Megan's research, what is that going to do? You seem to think Megan's research is integral to salvaging this project of yours. Why? It's not my project. Had I known before I came here... Why? Right, just answer the question. <sighs> We're experiencing cross-systemic failures with the tech. Over time, subjects implanted with OCM augmentations suffer complete neurological breakdown. They... they pretty much burn up from the inside. Gary thinks it's a problem with the acceptance of the P-dot array. I've heard that phrase before. It's the building block of modern neuro-augmentations. Dr. Reed's been reshaping it, changing the way it bonds with living tissue. The mutagenic gene combination she's introduced into it, well, frankly, it's astonishing. 
Enough to warrant her kidnapping? So she'd be forced to work on this project with you? She's not on this project. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. This is the first time anyone's ever mentioned kidnapping. Well, no, duh. If you think, what would they do to you? They would just come over to you and go, hey, we kidnapped that Megan chick. Okay, random scientist lady, go back to work. You're really gonna stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were gonna make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <laughs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. But keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. All right. Fine. But Mr. Jensen, please, hurry. But this is a one-way trip. I can't go back down here. I guess there's nothing of value? Yep, doesn't look like it. Okay. Yay! Hehe. <laughs> it gets experience points and stuff. Moonbase out, Omega. Oh, they got Moonbase! We got moon bases! Moon base, moon base, moon base, Omega. Moon base, moon base, moon base, Omega. What is this? Oh. Access code! Want to die. Be free. You know, I'd kill you, but I can't. Trust me. I'm clicking as hard as possible. Sorry! Well, we're going back up, because obviously that's the best choice of action. One way trip and all that. Whee! Keitner, contact Interpol. We need rendezvous coordinates for a deep sea submersible. A what? What exactly have you found, Jensen? A research complex hidden beneath this base. One of its staff is one to turn whistleblower if we can deliver her to Interpol using one of the lab's transport subs. Which explains why you need the coordinates. I'll see what I can do. Keitner out. Wait, no, talk to me more! There's like 300 meters between me and the top. God damn it. Oh well. Guess I'll just chill. Wait for this to all pass on by. God, you know, I'd be really fucking scared inside of an underwater elevator. Like, I'm sure you'd, you'd be like, oh, well, obviously it's well designed and not gonna break, but you're still underwater. Kreitner, what oh, the hell's going no. on? The elevator stopped. Burke must have intercepted our comms. Get the hell out of there, Jensen. I'll meet you. Fuck. Fuck shit. Well, here we go. At least we got that. Now what is gonna happen here? Do they open the door and just like spray bullets into it? Cause I could totally fight them all off. Just saying. But hey, if you don't want to let if you don't want to let me fight back, whatever. I'll just climb up here, just like you wanted me to do, developers. Okay, box. Show me what you've got. Cool. Okay. Oh. Oh man, I love the jump augmentation. All right. Wait a second. Where are they? Oh, they're down there. Are they retarded? They stop the elevator and then wait on like a floor, two floors above it. Lol. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy killing them. Don't you worry. Okay. Well, since our cover is blown, we don't really need to stealth ever again, right? Yeah. <laughs> or I could get the typhoon system and just blow them up like that. Ooh, voice crack.
Damn it, I can't get down the hole. Get into the hole! Damn it, there's just like my sex life. I mean, um... Gotta get the fucking hole. There we go. 